Boom! G'day guys, it's Sam here from Build Not Bought, and today we're going to be welding, cutting, snipping, clipping, chipping, tipping, baking, craking, but all that kind of stuff. Because I'm going to show you how to make your canopy jack off, as long as you've like prepared it for that and stuff. Yeah. Sam from Built Not Bought. I actually built this to obviously house the uh, legs on the side here. So these holes were cut when we built the canopy and finally, it's been so long, I'm actually gonna make the legs using these. So what I did is buy these Trojan legs is more behind there somewhere. So this actually winds up and down. So you've got the winder and you can actually change the pin in here which raises the height of those legs. So they fully fold up. So all I need to do is weld on the bracket which actually goes into the side of the canopy. So that's gonna go on there and I'm gonna cut and snip a little, like there's two pins because this comes out and then a brace in the middle and weld that whole assembly. I'm not gonna do the old bush mechanic style on this one. I'm actually going to pen, paper. What's this? Tape measure? Jesus, never seen one of them before. And I've done the whole thing in the wrong frame. <laughs> Jesus, I have no idea how ridiculous that looks, but um, yeah, camera problem. Sorry, technical difficulty. Got a full frame camera now and I've got the old not full frame lenses on there. So when I change them over, it, yeah, yeah, got to change the setting and I forgot to do that. Sorry about that. Anyway, so I'm actually going to measure well, how much steel I've got to work with, cut it up, mark it, got me drop saw, get all the pieces ready, and then get the welder out and start making the first one. We'll see how that first one goes, obviously, before we do the rest, and then uh, we can see how it's looking. But, you know, I can finally get this thing off and leave it. The idea is to sort of leave it tucked away in the shed at home and, you know, have the tray back for around town because then you don't have to take the weight with you everywhere and it's way more just practical. Let's face it. Let's get going. Jeez, I bet you thought you'd never see the day of this. Me actually measuring things. Mm. So we've got all the bits and pieces cut up now. So it's time for welding. Sorry, in and out of the light a bit. Anyway, so now that all the bits and pieces are cut up, oh God, it's time for welding. Now to weld this, what I want to do first is pretty much clean up all these ends. So I'm going to grind the edges off all the burrs, also grind the side of this because when it's welded, I'm going to run a bead down the side of that. Anywhere that you know you're gonna be welding, you wanna just get rid of the paint and grind it back. Also, I put a uh, Facebook, not Facebook, Instagram poll up and canola spray, or what they call anti-splatter spray, will stop the little balls from sticking because I did do a test run, well, not test run, I just did the first one here, and I noticed that all these little balls here were just all over it. Now that's just part of MIG welding. So to get rid of that, you want to use anti splatter spray, which a cheap alternative is just cooking oil because it's something that stops it from sticking. So a quick whip of that on, and then we're going to weld it up fully, get all those arms on there, and then pretty much test fit it into the side of the canopy. Now that first one I did wasn't perfect. I measured it all up, and I found that obviously when you weld a bar, the heat makes it pull in. So what happened is when I welded it, that kind of pulled down like that. So what I'm going to do is place another piece in there like that, and when I weld it, it'll keep it the right dimensions there. So then when I pull it out, I just knock that piece out and this will be the right length. Well, that's the plan anyway. Oh, all right, let's be honest. Not a bad effort from someone who, well, let's face it, can't weld. Right, we'll let this cool a bit and then I'll go try it on the car, see if it actually fits in there. So let's just hope, fingers crossed, that this actually fits in there. <laughs> let's make sure if you enjoy this video, you hit that subscribe button. Um, this is one of those videos where it's sort of like, not really a Tech Tuesday, but it's a bit more involved. So we've got it on the build series here. But um, as I said, even though the car's done, there's always gonna be modifications and improvements here and there. So uh, make sure you're following along. So you don't miss a thing. Oh my God, that's amazing. Pretty damn happy with that. 
I'll show you the other one I did that didn't fit. <laughs> but this one I didn't put that little spacer in here and it pulled in when it welded and... Yeah, look at... Oh, it wants to. It's just very tight. So I need to open that up a bit. I'll just get a little... something in there to stretch it out. I don't know yet, but we'll sort it out. Right, so here's where I'm at. I've got all the legs sorted out. So I've got that one made and, and that one and, and that one. But the next thing that I was gonna do is pretty much extend these bottom legs. So I got some 50 by 50 and I was going to basically cut a piece, extend it, weld it and drill some new holes, but had a brainwave. Instead of welding halfway through, I'm going to do this, which means I use a whole new length and I'm gonna cut the bottom of this footing off, cut that, grind it back and re-weld that footing onto this new bar, drill some holes and that means the new one won't have a weld halfway in between. It's gonna be a full new leg piece because that just fits perfectly up in there like that. So that's the job now. It means I am gonna to have to get some more steel. So I'll get two of them done today, get two of them done when I can get some more steel organized. So um, let's get to cutting all these bases off, welding those plates on because the old man's come around to pinch me welding gas, what's well, actually his, and then get all that welding sorted. And then it's just cleaning these up, ready to spray in some more galve spray and then drilling the big holes for the pins to go through and we're pretty much there guys. Okay then guys, all I need to do is basically wind up the legs on the canopy and then I can pretty much just drive the ute out from underneath. And that's it, the canopy's off. Here we go, the thing's been disconnected. So now I've got a tray back ute and then I can whack the canopy on for tricks. So why have I done this? Like the tray back ute, the reason I've done that is because it's gonna be a lot lighter going places. It's gonna use less fuel. If I do hardcore four wheel driving, I won't be like rolling over as easily because it's not gonna be like top heavy. So there's sort of some of the reasons why I've actually wanted to do this from the beginning. It's only just now it's only happened. So we got there in the end. You may notice since actually finishing this uh, little project, I've added in some extra things and there's just some cross braces here because look, me and the old man were having a bit of a debate and he reckons the thing was gonna fall over. So better be safe than sorry. I've just added in a cross brace on both sides. So it's pretty secure. Like I'll try and push it over. Bugger, she falls over. Wouldn't that be hilarious? It can pretty much handle the wind and things like that. Like if it's out somewhere and it gets a side wind on it, that's a big surface area. I didn't want the thing to fall over. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, oh, the hoodies have finally dropped. I'm wearing one of the new Build Not Bought hoodies. So if you want one, there's a link in the description below for that, but they're selling pretty quick. Hopefully when you're watching this, they're either restocked or there's some left. Big news as well, if you're in Sydney, the New South Wales folks out there, I've got my show happening on the 31st of August. I'll put a little fly thing up here, but basically it's Show Your Dirt, which I ran in Perth last year. So Show Your Dirt is going national starting with Sydney on the 31st of August, so you can bring your car down and display it. Your car, your car, I sounded English there. Bring your car down. And um, yeah, meet and greet with all the boys. I'll be there, the patrol will be there. There'll be giveaways, there'll be prizes. The top two judge vehicles will be put on display the following weekend at the Sydney Four Wheel Drive Adventure Show. Um, and that will be at the Dragway in Eastern Creek. Um, if you're in the other states, don't worry, we'll be coming there soon, but only the Sydney show has been released thus far. So keep you guys updated, follow me on my Instagram or Facebook to find all the latest information from these shows and um, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next episode, peace. I've just spent three months doing engine upgrades on my motor here and I've been told I'm not allowed to turn the key until you press subscribe. Please press subscribe. <laughs>